if these pictures could talk? Well, today they can. We get to talk to Frank of the actual Frank's Place in one of the most iconic hotels here in the Greater Palm Springs area. This place was actually built by Lucy and Desi Arnaz, and he has so many stories to share with us and talk about his show here. So we're gonna meet him. Let's go. Actually emotional seeing all the pictures on the wall in here and thinking about the history and the story behind each one of them that I think you probably know a lot about. I do. Tell me about the history of this hotel and this place. Well, it's got an amazing history. In 1956, um, Desi Arnaz and Lucy built the hotel right here first. And then a couple years after that, the Bob Hope Classic came down here and it was part part of the uh, valley and they they played there for I think 20 or 25 years. Oh my, can you imagine the energy at that time? Well, yeah. And the excitement Plus that was going on. Plus all the stars on. that came. Palm Springs was very active with with stars. But uh, if they wanted to just get away, you're talking 17 miles, and they'd come to Indian Wells, and nobody bothered them out here. Right. But if you look on the walls down the hallway, you'll see pictures of uh, Robert Wagner, uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Bob Hope, Bing Crosby. They all hung out here, you know. So it was, uh, it was quite a spot. So you walked in here, you knew the history of this place, you had the passion for it. How did it become Frank's Place? Well, somebody told me, hey, you've got to come to, to Indian Wells because um, they're looking for a guy like you. We got in here. Now this place didn't look anything like this. Uh, it was called Jake's Lounge. Yeah, and who's Jake? Who's Jake, <laughs> you know, who's Jake? Well, the boss said, uh, oh, by the way, uh, uh, on the eighth day I was here in the desert, they offered me a five-year contract to sing here. And uh, that it was very serendipitous. I would say yes to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, I've been looking for somebody just like you. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, Jake. I said, who's Jake? And uh, he said, well, when we bought the hotel 17 years ago, it was, this was the old owner's best friend who named it, uh, he named the lounge after. And I said, we need to capture that nostalgia. Right. He goes, well, let me think about that. Then he calls me back about a day or two later and he says, uh, let's name it Frank's Place after you, not after Sinatra. And here we are. So and here we are. Now your show, I mean, I know it's standing room only. When do you perform and tell me what that's like here? Uh, first week of October through the last week of May, Fridays and Saturdays. It's the talk of the valley and so am I. I mean, all of the entertainers, uh, they all know I've got the gig and the place. Oh yeah. So, and uh, you know, every night, I mean, we have so many people that come from around the world, literally, uh, and the country too, but I get so many people coming up after the show and go, thank you so much for keeping this music alive. What a great show, this, that, and the other thing. And then, the wonderful thing is, they bring people back over and over again. When friends come to town, hey, you got to go and see the Frank show, you know? So, I mean, that happens all the time. I, I just can't thank you enough for taking the time to share these amazing stories, to bring what you've brought to helping people retire right by also enjoying the music that's been such a big part you of bet. all of our lives. I grew up at it, with it as a kid as well, so thank you. Are you. Do we get a private performance? Can I hear you a little bit? You can. All right, let's I might do, do a song for you. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Amy. I want to wake up in a city that never sleeps To find I'm king of the hill, top of the heap Ace number one, king of the hill These little town blues They are Gonna make a brand new start of it in old New York and 
if I can make it there, I'm gonna make it where? It's up to you, New York, New York.